Hey everyone, Lee here. Got us a 2011 Freightliner box truck and this thing was a no start. We were able to get it to start by turning the ignition key on and jumping the starter solenoid. That enabled us to get it over here. But when you try to start it with the key, it, it just refuses to go. So what I did, I pulled up some schematics um, because it was giving me uh, transmission related codes and it was saying on the instrument cluster no trans so it was indicating to me that it, it was not seeing the transmission so I checked the uh, fuses right so we come out here uh, there are a couple different fuse locations uh, right in here and this fuse block right back there so um, I pulled every fuse out looking looking for possible uh, fuse related issues didn't see any blown fuses right so then I get the schematics and I'm looking right here let me try to move out of the light here see if you can see this we're looking at uh, pin 3 right runs up here and it supplied power through a 10 amp fuse right which hey i already checked the fuses um so i also know that that pin three is coming from right here if you can see it get out of the light um right there it follow goes over here comes down to that junction and runs to pin 10 on the transmission control module right so now that i know what should have power on the transmission control module i come here now this is the transmission control module and that wire right there is pin 10. so i take my power probe and i supply power to it and turn the key and voila you know the uh, truck fires right up so then I take a toner and I want to I want to follow that that wire and for those who don't know what a toner is this is a toner and what we do is we just connect the the leads to it and where, wherever uh, wherever the wire goes it gives me a tone right it's commonly not used in automotive applications it's more like uh, network engineers use this kind of stuff but uh, I use it in uh, automotive all the time because as you can see all the wires are the same damn color on a big truck so when you're d trying to trying to follow wire runs and every wire is yellow or white it makes it kind of difficult a lot of times you don't get schematics either so toners come in handy so that being said the uh, location that toned out was that 10 amp fuse okay so I test this side of the fuse and I got power I test the other side of the fuse I got no power right now this is where it gets interesting so typically when you have a blown fuse you can hold it up to the light and I'm gonna see if I could do this so that you can kind of get an idea uh, it's not being real cooperative at any rate you can look inside and you can see the uh, you can see the little uh, element and usually it'll be clearly broken in half when well, this case our fuse even under lighting uh, backlighting we could not find that break um, let's see I think you can see the little uh, the little element inside right it was not uh, evident in any in any type of light really strongly backlit could not see uh, any breakage in that fuse but the ohm meter when you test between this this side and this side over here clearly shows open circuit so long story short this was a 
a fuse problem that prevented the truck from starting. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.